Performance management is much more than sharpening pencils, stocking up on performance appraisal forms, spending a weekend writing from memory how employees did and telling them their pay raise. As someone who runs a company, uh, I've been told that it is my job to occasionally have performance reviews. And I've asked for some assistance from my script supervisor. This is Danielle Weisberg. Hello, Danielle. Hi. You are a script supervisor, are you not? No. What are you? I'm a monologue assistant. <laughs> oh. What does script supervisor do? That's Susie. Who's Susie? What is your name, please? Megan Sinclair. What is your title and position? I'm a photographer. You're a photographer? Yes. The show needs a photographer. <laughs> yes. All right, you seem defensive, are you? A little bit. Why? Because you're questioning my position at the show. Megan, in no way do I want you to feel nervous about this. Okay. This is just to decide whether or not you should be fired or not. Okay. <laughs> uh, what is your height? 5'7". Five, 5'7". Seven. Five, seven. What is your gender? Female. Okay. I have to fire three employees today. It's just the way it is. This is the staff and crew of Conan. Would you please identify the three people you think should go? Who's that? Jordan Schlansky. Jordan Schlansky. Okay. It took no time at all. Megan, do you have any complaints from me about the way that I run the show? Are there any personal quirks that I have that make you uncomfortable? No. <laughs> A photo researcher do? I find and license all the still images they use on the show. Let's say we needed a photo of Al Roker. How long would it take you to get a photo of Al Roker? Like 20 seconds, maybe. What about Al Roker wearing pajamas? Okay, not bad. You didn't find Al Roker in pajamas, but you did find him in a gingerbread costume. <laughs> you also found Al Roker as Mr. T. There he is as Oprah and as Robin of Batman and Robin. What is your height? Uh, six feet. Celebrity crush. Um, Margot Robbie. The blonde in Wolf yeah. of Wall Street? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, she's incredible, right? She's the one that he has that crazy scene yeah. in the bedroom with? Yeah. Oh my God, she is, a, excuse me? What? Would you excuse us? Back up. I need to fire three people. Please identify the ones to fire. Scrap the ailing irrelevant forms, irrational ratings, and irritating annual appraisals and develop effective performance management practices. Effective performance management is an employee-valued system of encouraging and rewarding employee contributions for the specific purpose of improving employee performance, which directly affects organizational success. A survey of executives revealed 58% believe their current performance management approach drives neither employee engagement nor high performance. Deloitte, GE, Adobe, Accenture have all gotten rid of the annual performance review. The main reasons for their decisions to change how they do performance management are ROI. Companies are not seeing them have enough of a positive impact on performance. Morale. There's a lot of ways for them to end up causing more harm than good. Time costs. HR and managers spend way too much time on them. That could be well spent elsewhere. GE drove a five-fold productivity increase and sourced a number of very profitable ideas for improvements inside and out of the organization. Adobe saved approximately 80,000 hours of manager's time in the annual review process and saw a 30% reduction in voluntary turnover. For pay for performance to work, an employee's impact on the business must be credibly measured. Employees need to know how their contributions translate into their reward amounts. The evolution of the performance management system, example, eliminating scores, increasing manager discretion, decreasing managerial layers, is hurting the defensibility, transparency, and perceived fairness of reward distribution decisions. Organizations must re-examine the pay for performance process or risk driving unintended consequences and the wrong employee behaviors. It's critical to effectively reward employees when performance scores are eliminated 
and to develop the core manager skills needed to effectively execute pay for performance as discretion increases and layers decrease.